Welcome back everyone. This is a sequel to uh, installing the most current NVIDIA drivers for an Alienware M17X which is currently not supported anymore and uh, basically I'll show you how to hack the INF files to successfully complete the install. The first thing you want to do is download the most current or beta drivers for NVIDIA extract them to the C drive. The installer is going to try to run an auto installer after that and it will fail out. Alright, the reason for the tutorial is that the uh, the NVIDIA drivers don't support the device IDs that the Alienware M17X has, so you have to go in there and change uh, a couple specific numbers in two different files to get the installer to complete successfully. Uh, in the first version that I had, I only covered uh, the the adjustment for the 260 M3D cards, but upon recent discovery, uh, I've discovered that you have to change the device ID for the 9400 also to uh, successfully complete. Alright, if you try to run the installer, this is the screen you're going to arrive at that it cannot continue because it cannot find compatible hardware. I'll go ahead and close it because it's already been extracted for you. Alright, the next thing you want to do is open up your device manager so you can get the ID numbers that you need. Alright, just go to the details tab under the graphics card and you'll see that 618 subsys 02 alpha 11028 this is the number that's most important for us right here this is what we'll be changing in uh, in concern for both the cards now I have a screenshot available for the other card which is the 9400 All right, the difference between the two uh, hardware IDs is that the developer is 0862 not 618 so these are the numbers that we'll be concerned with and we'll be changing it to match 02 alpha 11028. So the next thing you'll do is open up your NVIDIA directory. Go to the C drive, NVIDIA, display driver, the driver folder that you want to install. Go all the way to the display driver folder and the first file that we'll miss, that we will uh, edit, will be the list devices INF. Open that up with a notepad application. Alright, a quick way to do this is just open up your find and you will search for 02 alpha 21028. Alright, this is the incorrect ID, which we'll look for, and it'll be located in one spot, and it's right here, 618 subsys 02 alpha 21028. What you're going to do for the 260 card is just change this to a 1, so it matches your device ID. Alright, to find the other one, ahead and <coughs> insert your eye pointer back up just after the second two hit backspace one and you're going to enter seven and one all right so it will read zero two seven one one zero two eight and then you'll hit find all right you notice here it says 940 m 9400M. Change the 7 under the subsys to an alpha, an A. <coughs> okay, and that takes care of both cards. So just cancel out the find, save it. and close the list devices. Next you want to go down to the NVDM. 
All right, once you have your NVDM INF folder open, you're going to bring up your find. The quickest way is just press Control F. All right, first thing we're going to take care of is the uh, 260M 3D cards. So just type in 0618, and that will find the developer number. All right. 0618, and if you notice, it's, it closely matches your subsys number except for one digit. So we're going to change this 2 to a 1. And we'll do this, we'll repeat this process three times until we go to the 9400. Here's the second one. Replace it with a 1. And the third place it with a 1. Alright. Next, to make it easy, just cancel out. Reinsert your eye pointer at the top of the document. Bring up your search again. Alright, we're going to go after the 9400. And if you notice over here, the developer number is 0682. You're going to locate that and change the subsys number accordingly. So type in 0862 and find. All right. And you're going to change the 7 and the subsets to an A. Second one change it to an A, and the third, change it to an A. After that, you should come up with nothing more in the blocks to change. messing with that, just go ahead and go into File and Save, or press Control S. Close the INF file. Go back one directory, and run the setup. This time it'll successfully check your card and allow it to install. Uh, it will install the drivers for both the 9400 and the 260M. Um, most notably, changes that I've noticed during this new installation is that uh, now it allows you to dedicate the PhysX software to your integrated card, your 9400, instead of offloading it to your CPU if you're running an SLI. So that is actually kind of a welcome change. Um, once you get here to the installation options, to select custom, okay, because unless you have a 3D capable laptop, you do not need the 3D vision drivers, and NVIDIA update is completely worthless to us. Just click next, and install. It should take about 5 to 10 minutes. To conclude this tutorial, I'd like to add that uh, apparently as as recently as version 300 and up. Uh, it looks like NVIDIA is concluding its support of hybrid muxing, which means you'll no longer be able to switch on the fly between your 9400 and your 260M. I haven't gotten official confirmation of this, though I am currently in the process of addressing through their little support system. Uh, so it looks like if you want to play games in 3D, you're going to have to do it through the BIOS from now on. Um, unless you stay back and stick with the last pre-300 series, 296.10, uh, and you're pretty much going to have to stay in 3D mode forever unless you go mobile. So, best of luck to you all.